In this video, we'll discuss about OTN maintenance signals and defects transmitted in OTN network. In OTN we have these five layers where we get most of alarms ODU, O2, OC, OMS and OTS. ODU and O2 are electrical layers. OC, OMS, OTS are optical layers. Each layers have different maintenance signals and defects that we'll cover with animation. What is maintenance signals? Maintenance signals indicate in downstream direction, that is from signal source to sync, that a defect has been detected in upstream direction. Defects are assigned to failures monitored in the received signals. The detection of a defect leads to a corresponding alarm and the transmission of the appropriate maintenance signal. Onodulator maintenance signals are AAS, OCI, LCK, and defects are BDI, PLM, TIM, DEG. Onodulator maintenance signal is AIS, and defects are BDI, LOF, TIM, OCI, LCK, IAE, BIAE. On OCH layer maintenance signals are FDIP, FDIO, OCI, and defects are loss P, OCI. On OMS layer maintenance signals are FDIP, FDIO, PMI, and defects are loss P, BDIP, BDIO, PLM. On OMS layer maintenance signal is PMI, and defects are loss P, BDIP, BDIO, PLM. AIS Alarm Indication Signal Similar like SDH, sent downstream to indicate that an upstream defect has been detected. In OTN, it is used in the electrical layers on O2 and ODU. The example shows an equipment performing ODU cross connection. In case of an upstream defect, like loss of payload signal raised, the OTA layer detects the resulting defect and inserts an ODU KIS. This ODU KIS is transparently transmitted in downstream and in parallel in backward direction the backward defect indication, BDI, payload is transmitted. In case of ODU KIS, ODUC AS is an all 1S pattern in the entire ODUC signal, excluding frame alignment overhead bytes, ODUC overhead and ODUC FDFL that is fault type and fault location bytes. In O2 layer, the ODUC alarm indication signal, AAS, is a generic signal and it covers the whole frame, created by a mathematical function called PN11. VDI Backward Defect Indication Like RDI in SDH, VDI is transmitted upstream to indicate a failed status in the downstream direction. VDI raised on ODU layer, O2 layer, OMS layer, and OTS layer. In the electrical layers ODU and O2 layer the complete signal including overhead is contained in the frame. Therefore only one BDI value is sufficient to cover fault in the overhead and payload. In the OMS and OTS optical layers, have to consider the out-of-band optical supervisory channel as well. Therefore two different types of BDI are available. BDIP if does not receive a valid payload signal, BDI, O, if does not receive a valid overhead signal, and sent in the backward direction to inform the sender about the problem. In ODU and O2 layer, after detecting the fault O2 raised AAS, and in downstream transmit ODU K AAS. In back direction send BDI, and after receiving BDI upstream node also raised BDI. In the OMS and OTS, if the OTS or OMS does not receive a valid payload signal, that OTS raised loss P alarm, 
and sent FDIP in downstream. In back direction send BDIP into the OTS overhead bytes. And upstream no detect BDIP. If the OTS or OMS does not receive a valid overhead signal, that OTS raised LOSO alarm and sent FDIO in downstream. In back direction send BDIO into the OTS overhead bytes. And upstream node detect BDIO. FDI forward defect indication is a signal sent downstream to indicate that an upstream defect has been detected. It is used in the optical layers OCH and OMS. Similar like BDI, FDI also have two types, FDIP and FDIO. After detecting the fault, OTS raised loss P is not receive valid payload and send FDIP in downstream. OMS layer raised FDIP alarm. In back direction send BDIP on OMS layer and OTS layer also send BDIP. On next node OCH detect and raised FDIP and send AS in downstream. Similar after detecting the fault, OTS raised loss O as not receive valid payload and send FDIO in downstream. OMS layer raised FDIO alarm. In back direction send BDIO on OMS layer and OTS layer also send BDIO. On next node OCH detect and raised FDIO and send AS in downstream. I, A, E, and B, I, A, E. I, A, E is incoming alignment error. B, I, A, E is backward incoming alignment error. These two defects are set after the occurrence of a frame slip. This defects do not result in a fault but are used to suppress the counting of performance data such as block errors. This defects are available at O2 and OGU layer. In network when we have frame slip, O2 detect the frame slip, the performance counters are suppressed, and the IE signal is inserted in the O2 O. At next O2 detect IAE defect, and performance counters are suppressed here as well. In parallel the backward incoming alignment error is transmitted to stop the far end performance counter of the signal in backward direction. LCK. That means locked. This signal is generated on operator request in order to lock the signal from user access. In the locked state the client signal is replaced by fixed data indicating the locked state. This state enables the network operator to perform tests. The locked signal generated on ODUC and OTUC layers. An operator request in order to lock the signal from user access. After locking, O2 send LCK in downstream and next ODU detect LCK alarm and insert AS in downstream and send BDI in back direction. OCI Open Connection Indication OCHI is similar like unequipped signal in SDH is transmitted if there is no signal switched at the connection function on optical channel or OCHI layer. This is raised at OCH layer and OCHI layer. In the example only the optical channel layer is shown but the same principle applies to the OCHI layer as well. The OCI is used to show that there is no payload because of an administrative reason and not due to a fault. On optical layer the OCI signal is contained in the overhead information. On electrical layer the OCI is a special signal contained in the ODUC. PLM That is payload mismatch 
is defined in the opuc overhead to indicate the composition of the opuc signal. In general different mapping types are specified there, such as CBR or ATM mapping. If the extracted value does not fit to the interface, the payload mismatch alarm is created. This leads to the transmission of an AIS alarm.